What's up everybody? Today we will be doing another NASCAR diecast review. Uh, this time it is on Kevin Harvick's uh, 2014 Homestead win 124. Uh, I love this diecast. It's my favorite one out of my collection because it just means a lot to me. Uh, this car uh, is from, as I said, 2014 Ford EcoBoost 400 and that was my first race that I went to. Um, so I just love this thing because the memories um, that are associated with it and it looks pretty darn cool um, it's it was my first race raced version uh, 124 that I have uh, which is pretty cool too so enough of me rambling on about that we'll take a look at the box first uh, you've got NASCAR Sprint Cup Series Lionel Racing the official diecast of NASCAR uh, you know winner all that it is one of, hopefully you can see that, one of 1,157. There's the 2014 schedule. Oh, that's weird, it says 2013. Never noticed that. Oh, that's a mistake. Huh. Oh, that was weird. Um, it did come, this diecast did come with the confetti and the little race card, but I have that in a like shadow box that I made. So you won't be seeing those uh, in this video. But let's start off with the front. Hopefully my camera will zoom in. I know the lighting's a bit off, but you've got four right there, uh, Chevrolet SS. Uh, you got some tape, uh, Stuart Haas Racing. You got a bunch of dirt on the nose. Um, then you got a bunch of confetti, which makes the car look great. And then this spot right here is where, if you guys remember Keelan, um, Kevin Harvick's son, he started wiping off the confetti and then everyone got mad at him. Well, not mad, but just like told him to stop. So that's why there's not a lot of confetti on the side. Um, then you've got the front contingency sponsors. You got Moog, Molly, Comp, Sunoco. Uh, you got Goodyear there, Goodyear Eagle, Tires that move. Uh, you got Holly EFI, 3M, Mechanics Wear, Mobile One, Freescale, uh, Duralast Brakes, Canon. Uh, you got the Chase for the Sprint Cup logo, or the Sprint Cup logo and then the Chase for the Sprint Cup right there. Uh, you got Automator, Jags, Lincoln Electric, Edel Rock, and I think that's Flowmaster. Uh, then you got some more confetti going up and down the side at random spots. You got the four, you got Budweiser, uh, Exalta, Freightliner, and some other ones down there that I can't see through the camera. Uh, then you got Budweiser, American Ethanol, Jimmy John's, Haas, uh, Mobile One, Mac Tools. You got Kevin Harvick up on the name reel. You got Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You got five uh, race winner stickers. Uh, that looks awesome up there. Um, you got Ditech, something else right there. Uh, you got Bass Pro and some other sponsors on the B post or the pillar, however you want to say it. On the rear, you've got Grab Some Buds, uh, Budweiser again, uh, Kevin Harvick Foundation logo, uh, Chevrolet SS, you got the number four, you've got the camera, um, then you got the Chevy bow tie, and the splitter from 2015 uh, with a little clear bit at the top. Um, then you got the same stuff on this side, but you've got Alexis Tabron, so I guess she won that contest from last year. Um, so I guess you guys can check her out. I'm assuming it's a her on Twitter. Um, then you've got Budweiser on the deck lid along with some confetti. Got the rear window. This is number 456. Then on the roof, you got the big old four with the chase. Uh, color in it, um, if that made sense. You got Jim John's roof flaps open, as they should. You got more confetti, you got the race camera, um, and then you've got Harvick up on the windshield and two Chevrolet bow ties. Um, then we'll take a look under here, nothing too special. And the hood opens, if I can get it open. Try to get this open for you guys. So 
So if you can see that, it has the Chevy Bowtie Mobile One, uh, Budweiser Haas, and Jimmy John's. So that'll complete this 124 uh, diecast review. If you want to see more from me, uh, hit that subscribe button, uh, leave a like and comment down below, and uh, see you next time.